My first memories of Brethren Village are coming to visit my grandmother when she lived in Founders Hall. She had a single room, which was big enough for a bed, a dresser, a chair, and I think maybe her sewing machine. And in that room, she set up a quilt frame and quilted a double-sized quilt for me. And then she had to roll it up and move it out of the way so she could get in bed every night until she had it finished. And that's a precious gift that she gave to me. She was here and until 1966 when she passed away. And during that time, she never had a private bath. The ladies on that floor had to go across the hall to use the bathroom. I kind of remember that she had a sink in her room. I also recall that they had a chicken barbecue to raise money for the village auxiliary. And that was held in front of Founders Hall between the building and 501. Those were the first barbecues that I recall. Then they were moved further back into the campus by the pavilion, which again is no longer there. And I don't think we're doing chicken barbecues. Now we have the Good Samaritan Banquet. My mother also lived here at Brethren Village. She moved in in 1980. She lived in Oakwood House and she lived here for 28 years. She died in 2008 at the age of almost 99. She was very active on campus and had, uh, was a part of the Residence Council. She was the chair of the Spiritual Life Commission Film Committee. And she was also a van escort. She would go with people who were not as able-bodied as she was when they had to go to a doctor's appointment and she would accompany them on that. I think that Mother just enjoyed the opportunity to, to be a volunteer. That was one of her favorite things to assist other people. I think she got that honestly from her mother who also in her own way was a volunteer and helped other people, other residents. I certainly hope that the, the spirit of Brethren Village and the caring and compassion that we see now continues for 120 years. My great-grandparents lived here, my grandparents, my parents, and it was just natural for me to move here. My great-grandparents, I can't imagine what they would think the way things are now, how it's grown. But he would be pleased. Grandpa, Grandpa Taylor would really be pleased that it is so large. My grandparents moved here in, I think, probably around 1976. And they lived here only maybe three years or so. They both were here, of course, when they passed away. And I remember coming to visit them, coming every year to the chicken barbecue. That was a favorite. They both lived in, I think, what is now Village Manor. And they took very good care. Grandpa became quite agitated and hard to handle, and they did a very good job with it. Now, my grandma, she lived here as a child when her parents were Stuarts in 1900. And she lived on the, in the Founders Hall and she would tell us that she lived up on the third floor. Her bedroom was up there. And so she lived here from the time she was six until after she graduated from college. And then my parents moved here in 1992 in Brubaker Manor. That's the four generations that I know that have lived here at Brethren Village. Hi, my name is Gloria Rice, and my mother, Helen Gladfelder, lived here for 17 years in Oakwood House part of the time, and then later in nursing. And this is my sister. I'm her sister, Mary <laughs> uh, Booker, and um, my mother-in-law and father-in-law lived here, but my mother-in-law lived here over 25 years. My father-in-law died after they moved here. Memories I think I would have would be going to the, coming down for the uh, auctions and barbecues. Yeah. Good food. <laughs> Always that. <laughs> My mom and dad came here in the, in the spring of 1989. 
and uh, and my wife and I came here in, in the spring of uh, 19 or, or 2007 so um, my mom lived to to she she died in, in 2008 so we were here with her for the, for a year and my dad passed away in um, uh, what was it, 2015 so we got to spend uh, quite a few quite a few times with them and uh, we have very fond memories of living here with them um, my dad and I sang in the Brethren Village Chorus and we toured various retirement homes in the area and gave, gave concerts and so that was one of the highlights of uh, my memories of my dad and I. My mom and dad um, actually were, uh, helped start the village store up, uh, up in the village center. Uh, I don't know that actually the date that was but uh, I'm not sure. And uh, anyway, um, my wife and I uh, started the store here at Fieldcrest. So uh, my mom was real uh, instrumental in, in getting us started here and the procedures we needed to do and all. I'm uh, also treasurer of the Green Thumb, Thumb Society. Um, I, uh, my dad was treasurer also before I was, so uh, there was a continuation there. Well, you know, I always heard that the Lord has perfect timing, and I think I, I witnessed that, you know, personally when uh, it would, we decided to move here to the Brethren Village. We had our name in here about 10 years. We, from visiting Mom and Dad uh, through the years, we had known that this is where we wanted to settle down for our retirement also. But uh, the, the timing was just perfect because uh, mom was declining and dad was having, he had just sold his car and so he needed transportation. So the timing was perfect here. And after we were here for a few years, um, we uh, began to understand that uh, my wife, uh, and she was diagnosed then with uh, Alzheimer's and dementia. And so the, the care that she's got, you know, while she was living here, was just just fantastic. So I think the, the, like I said, the Lord's timing was perfect when we when we got here. My mother came here at, when she was ninety and died when she was a hundred. So she was here for just ten years. Eleanor's father came in when he was uh, he was uh, 80, uh, 86, I guess, or eighty seven when he came in and he died when he was ninety six. Uh, 98, wasn't it? 98, he, he, he died, died, on his 98th, died on his 98th birthday, birthday yeah. So, and, yeah. Uh, and during that time, Brethren Village was such a help with the, with the uh, chaplain, Levi Ziegler, I mm -hmm. remember. What a help. Yeah, Levi was. What a help that was. He had a twin brother. There was a family of eight that grew up on a farm in West Virginia. And... Um, they were the last two, and uh, his twin brother died about four years before he did. Before he did, and uh, we came over that evening to visit him because I knew he'd be upset. And we found the nurse sitting on his bed with her arm around him, talking Con to him, consoling him over his twin brother. And I, I can hardly talk about it without tears coming because I can still see that picture. What a place for an older person to be. He was 94 at that time. And, uh, and uh, he, he was certainly going to miss his twin, his twin brother and they were the, he was, that made him the last of the family then. Yeah. But that she took time and I, I remember talking to her and I said, uh, isn't it time for you to be home? And she said, oh, but this, it's important. He needs, he needs some comforting. <laughs> yeah. I'm Bonnie Hauser. I live in a cottage, and we've been here for almost 10 years, and first became acquainted with Brethren Village through my father, Victor Landis, who lived here for more than 20 years. I'm Alan Hauser. I uh, uh, live with my wife, Bonnie. Uh, Bonnie brought me here. I love Lancaster County. Uh, Brethren Village, for me, was a 
blessing in that it allowed me to get to know my father-in-law much better than I ever would have in any other way and uh, to love and respect him more than I think I would have otherwise. I said, I'm sorry that my dad can't be here with us. And I can tell you, if, if he were, you would be entertained. Because <laughs> he, um, he was a lot of fun. And the other aspect of this, while I was looking at some of your notes, it's not just the services provided by uh, Brethren Village, but uh, you know the friends and neighbors. I'm telling you, that E-Wing in Fieldcrest, where he lived, that's a special special place and it was nice I got to know his neighbors and um, he enjoyed them he enjoyed them very much and and I think they enjoyed enjoyed him we got to have his last birthday party right here and that we were we were at only this table at this table <laughs> and here we were able to do that only because we lived here and our, our little family was so happy to be asked to get together and um, and Victor was just he was quite happy, you know. He he really enjoyed himself, and because um, this was his family. What we're grateful for is that it was really just his last two months that he really needed help, and people were there. People were there and helpful and not obtrusive, and uh, uh, I appreciated what what they did but also appreciated what they didn't do, which was yes. important. But we appreciate what Brethren Village did to help us be able to, um, to have that time. Yep. He sure enjoyed sitting up here too. I think the people that have multi-generation people here are probably very lucky. Having seen my parents here 15, 20 years ago, they find ourselves here. At this point, we can see how things never stay the same here. They get better and better. So many different people I know have been residents at Brethren Village. Uh, you know, my mother-in-law and father-in-law here, and I remember uh, they were dragging their feet to come here, uh, but uh, after they were here, they said, oh, why didn't we do this sooner? <laughs> and uh, again, they, they just loved the place. And um, my wife says my, her mother lived probably five years longer than she should have because she got such good care at the village. I'm Vivian Ziegler. Uh, we're here in our 14th year, and we love it. And uh, my claim to fame here is that my great-grandfather was one of the founders of Brethren Village, S.R. Zug. I've had, uh, my mother was here, and I've had uh, three aunts who lived here, plus one cousin. And I'm Earl Ziegler. I've had an uncle and three aunts that lived here periodically, but that's in the past, pretty far gone. My one aunt was Mary Forney, who lived to 105. And uh, of course, I think he only lived that long because she had good care. <laughs> my first memories, I would say, was visiting my aunt, who was here, and she was in one of the first Founders. buildings, Founders, it, Founders Hall. Hall. She folded the wash and worked in the laundry uh, a lot of the time. She was here a long time. And I had an uncle who worked in the laundry with Fanny Shearer. My memory is uh, coming with my family when I was a boy, but basically I don't have too much memory until as a pastor. I came here visiting when I came to McKenna Grove, but became a regular visitor to the Brethren Village campus. And then when, when her mother came, we decided to put our names in. So we had our names in the Brethren Village for 15 years. So that when we wanted to come here, we were at the top of the line. <laughs> <laughs> well, I volunteer with, in the mail, with the mail. So I deliver mail 
at least once a week and sometimes twice a week in the courtyards. And I really see how much people care about each other and care about the residents. And while the residents may not have what we would think much life, uh, they just are there, but the, I find constantly the uh, caretakers, caregivers just being so good about it. Yeah. And I also volunteer at the store and just to be at the store and to listen to people as they come in, they need to talk to somebody and it's a ministry. And I think the Brethren Village has a lot of those kinds of people and a lot of this. And people come in and say, oh, this is such a caring community. I hear that often from people in the store especially. Well, I would hope we'd have a continued uh, emphasis on care, emphasis on uh, uh, the Christian values that the, the village upholds and, uh, and just being a caring community where people feel valued and people are important no matter who we are, how different we might be, but we're all one and we all are in the, in the, the human family. My great aunt was here first, back in the 30s. And uh, we used to visit her. All they had was Founders Hall. I was growing up, and I, I didn't ever want to come along because uh, well, the place wasn't like it is today, okay? That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and then uh, my grandfather, I had a grandfather that uh, lived here in the 60s, and my mother moved here in the 80s, 1983. She was here 19 years, but Tony and I moved in before um, she had passed away. So uh, we were all living here together. So I'm fourth generation. The Christian attitude that goes with this place, the staff is fantastic. They watch over us, all the staff. They're amazing. I've noticed that. I, mean, I was on staff at one time, but uh, I, I still feel on staff at the time. They have to stop me from doing things up here. So, uh, but uh, Brethren Village has been quite a journey and a beautiful journey. <laughs>